I love this approach. And this is something I've been doing for years, actually. I can't remember if I learned this somewhere or if I just saw someone talking about this. When I see payments come through in my email or my bank or wherever they come through, I say thank you. I say thank you every time, whether it's a dollar or you know a big check. I'm like, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. I don't, I don't say thank you when I'm paying something. Why? And I'm, I want to try this because I think it's an interesting approach. Why should we also say thank you when we're sending out money uh, to others? Because uh, if you get a if you get a bill, that means you somebody did something for you. For example, if it's an electricity bill, you know because of uh, the electricity company, I'm, I can use the internet, I can use the lighting and microphone and computer, and it's not only one man job. Uh, there is this uh, service person. There is this uh, people who are at the power plants, uh, and also there is somebody who just brought uh, oil to Japan from Middle East, and and there. I don't know, thousands of people uh, working for the electricity and they make sure that it's uh, in my house installed properly. So there are mm. millions of uh, um, uh, reasons to appreciate the electricity. And if it's, uh, say, if it's, a, uh, if it's $300 or $500 or uh, maybe short, uh, smaller or bigger, wow, you know, if I'm asked to uh, install somebody's house with that electricity, I, I cannot do that with this money. So thank you for just giving me the electricity. Th thank you for giving me water. Thank you mm -hmm. for uh, serving me a good meal at the restaurant. Thank you for giving me a ride like Uber. So you can thank the person who gave you the service and product. So the, the reason you, you have to pay you're getting something in exchange and usually takes more than one or two or could be a hundred people's work. And then yeah. uh, you ask the money, thank them too. So that means that the money you give to the electricity company will be paid to all the people. Wow. So like I can, it's like a magic wand. Even if it's a hundred dollars, this magic wand can uh, we'll start saying thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. <laughs> so you know, it'll just uh, thank. It's it's like a domino effect effect of uh, thank you. So it's not yeah. just thanking your money, thanking the people who are connected with me. So uh, we are all living on this planet together. So if we have this feeling, everybody is feeling this way. We all connected. We all connected with uh, people in the Middle East. We all connected with the people in Russia. Africa, China, US, uh, like it or not, we are all connected. So do we hate each other or do we appreciate one another? So if we start doing more, there will be uh, no exploitation of any kind. That's the economy I want to see in the coming years. Yeah. It's such a uh, simple philosophy and practice that I think if we can all start to do it a little more, with money and with everything. The people that we see, our friends, thanking them when they're coming, thanking them when they're leaving for their time, their attention. My girlfriend does this with our meals. Every time we eat together, she's really thank she puts a lot of time and attention thanking the people that just made this, the people that delivered the food to the restaurant, the people who harvested the food, you know, and all the people. And it's not something I did until about a year ago with food. And it's something that I've sh I've noticed my digestive system relaxing, like me just taking in the moment and, and feeling a better sense of joy and happiness while eating food as opposed to just eating protein bars to get to the next thing, um, but really appreciating it. And I think when we appreciate things, when, which I'm hearing you say, when you appreciate money, when it comes, when it goes, when you appreciate food, when you appreciate your home, your family, your friends, those things will appreciate in value and they'll want to come to you more. Is that what I'm hearing you say? Yes, exactly. And, and uh, Luis, you know what I've, what I've been talking about and you've been practicing it without knowing maybe, but uh, I think you've been doing it as a natural person. You know, there are a certain things like a natural business person, natural artist. So you're one of the natural people who, who just uh, appreciate things. You know, that's I why do, you're yeah. successful and people love you. And uh, so if you want to be like, uh, if, 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 if the viewers like 
uh, want to be like Louis, you have to learn what he's doing, you know. So it's not just uh, uh, small habits, but I think the attitude of, mm. uh, toward life. And somehow uh, there are the only two kinds, you know, one, one kind is uh, people who keep appreciating, the other one keep um, complaining about it. So if you just, uh, you know, it, it could be something very small, but after 20 years, your life will be very different. So I hope mm. everybody will appreciate one another a little bit, a little bit more from yesterday. And what happens if we start complaining about money more, whether it be just kind of frustrated little comments here and there, you know, what happens to, to money in our life when we complain about it, as opposed to appreciate it and, and thank it? So uh, if you start complaining about money, uh, like 95% of us, <laughs> mm -hmm. money, just uh, look at from a money's perspective. You know, if you've been complaining about it, oh, I don't want to go to him anymore. <laughs> And then <laughs> and, and, and it's like a mutual feeling is feeling is mutual. Okay, you, you can complain. About, okay, fine. I'm not going to come to you. <laughs> so, uh, and I think subconsciously, if you are complaining about money, you don't want it to be near you. So my favorite question to people is, if money was a person, who would it be? That means mm. uh, if money was a person, would it be a fun person? Always joking, always making, uh, entertaining you, or is somebody like a, a assassin, you know, who's who's going to try to hurt you or scare you, or gangsters who try to you know uh, uh, intimidate you? So uh, if you're complaining, money may not be a, such a fun, good person. So I I think by complaining, you become uh, you make money a villain. And you don't want the scary person to live in your house. So uh, for happy, wealthy people, money is their best friend. They're so happy to welcome them at home. You know, when you open the door, I find you, Louis. Louis, thanks. Just come on here. Just, you know, grab a beer. Just you treat your best friend like that. But if you complain about that, and if uh, you find that uh, person in front of you, doorstep, money comes here. No, 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 I don't, need, I don't need you here. Get out of here. So that person cannot invite money in. You're obsessed with money-making uh, ideas. So unless you forget about money, I cannot teach you about money. So his teaching was very zen. So I might be confusing a lot of viewers at the moment because I, uh, a lot of people always think, okay, Ken, that's great. And then how can I make And then how do, 